So here it is, Centipede from IDW Games. Thanks to them for sending this over. Uh, here's the box. Let's open it up and take a look. Now, we were talking about this. I don't really understand the origin of Centipede. Apparently, it's a, a I, I believe it's a wizard that enchants these cre the, this kid's friends. And then he has to stop the monsters, which are actually his friends, and shoot them with a magic wand. The monsters are his friends? I, if, if I'm not... I think that was the original mini-comic. Huh. So yes. this is based on a comic? It's based on... The comics were based on the game. They were done as, oh, like, I almost pack-ins. I see. Yeah. It's yeah. a nice-looking rule book, anyway. Yeah. And then you see all the components. Oh, they look like There's pixels. A, yeah. There's mushrooms and fleas and spiders. I got into video games late. My first thing was the Genesis, so this is all. Oh sense. yeah, you're you're late. You're very you're late to the party. And here's a board. Yes. That's interesting. Very small board. Yeah. It's almost set of like look like Frogger. Stickers for some reason. And here are the mushrooms. I see. Which the centipede gets turned into the mushrooms by the magic wands. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that all scans. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Yeah. These are the centipede bits. It, 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 apparently, in the four-player game, and we'll see this later, is there's a you have opposing centipedes going at each other. Oh. I guess there's green bits and blue bits. Blue bits, yeah. And now here's the really fun ones. The spiders or the fleet? Are they spiders yeah, or fleas? That's, that's the gnome. Hi, well, it's both. Good girl, my baby. So we've got fleas and spiders. Actually, why don't you open that up? I want to see those. The fleas and the, oh, and the silica gel pack, so oh, okay. they don't go bad. I don't know what role that plays in the game. <laughs> <laughs> don't need it. <laughs> dice, very special engraved dice. Ooh. These are for the gnome. Actually, uses the dice for different things. Rules we'll see. The gnome. Yes. yes. Player one, player two. These are the fleas. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, there's a flea. There's a flea. <laughs> and the spiders. And the spiders. I was a little worried this is going to be brittle, but they're nice. They're no, pretty they solid, like they're solid wooden tokens. Is there a spider? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 they bounce around and send me to go. I don't think they're spiders. <laughs> they're spiders, Dad. They it says they're spiders. Spiders don't have four legs. Spiders <laughs> have eight legs. That's why they're called arachnids. <laughs> <laughs> The, well, the fleas sort of look like weird hunchback things. So these exactly. actually a lot of like mushrooms. What you call it? What? Those things that bite you. Ticks. Ticks. That's You're right. They do look more like ticks than fleas. But I guess that's I guess that's the fault of the original video game designers. Yeah. That <laughs> well, looks to be, and then there's some cards. cards. Oh, cards. We'll talk about those later. And. Uh, a patch for some reason. This is, I mean... You might want to sew that on a yes. bag or something. You know. I'll, I'll, I'll take a, a patch. As analog as it gets. Well, there you go. Atari <laughs> Centipede. He looks so happy in his patch of mushrooms. Now you, you got to do... Right. You pick, so, a, pick a dice. You start with... You rolled your dice. I rolled my dice. They're on the, the dice card, or whatever it's called. Yeah. I'm not going to refresh the dice pool, but I am going to activate one die. So I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Again, I'm dumb and I never played Centipede. <laughs> so I'm going to use this die. I think I got die. it on my Atari flashback. I'm going to let you use this die, which is two movement and a shot. And I can move in any direction, but I'm going to go one, two, and shoot. And I'm going to end up hitting the head of the Centipede. Yes. Which means that the next segment becomes the, the head, head of the centipede. And now the centipede's gonna move faster. It was only gonna move one space. Now it moves two. Now it's gonna move two. I guess it's got less junk in the trunk, I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, I should have thought about using my dome control cards. Mm. <laughs> uh, let's see, I don't wanna shoot. I don't, I don't, I don't think I wanna move again. Uh, I'm not gonna refresh the dice pool. Um, yeah, okay. Alright. Now it's the centipede's turn. And I, I gotta draw. Yeah. I use my cards. I draw, drew three cards. Right? And then yeah, I get your cards. Right, so it's a play one card and then move my bugs and then draw a card. So I'm going to play the 
spider card. Spider already. And it just spawns up here or down here. Spider. There's rules for the spider. What did it say? What does it say where it spawns? Actually, does it say on the card? It might say on the card. Uh, if they're moving your creature, spawn a spider in any empty space on the left or right edge of the board. Okay. So like, you have to move first? Yes. I gotta move these guys. I would move, I, I, now I gotta move my centipede. I don't know, I'll just say play, play a card first, alright. Yeah. What are the rules for spider placement? After I move my, after I move my creatures, you spawn a spider in an empty space on the left or right edge of the board. Alright. So, these guys are going this way. So I'm hoping they'll shoot it in the middle. How do I win? I have to kill all the centipede parts. Yes, you have to just kill the centipede parts before they get down to you. Yes. And then the spider's starting up. I think it has to be below the... The spawn point? Okay. That's it. it just is on the left or right edge of the board. So. Oh. Well, in that case, then I'm... Yeah, I'm, I'll just go start it. I'll start it there at the spawn point anyway. And the spider doesn't move on its first turn, right. so then I draw a card. And you can go. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. This destroys a mushroom, but only one. Right. Uh, see, I don't like the order this is in. I might want to... Well, I mean, I could just shoot this segment, I guess. But I don't know if I want to make two centipedes. Hmm. What's the disadvantage of making two centipedes? I don't know. They're then faster. They're, they're, yeah, they're yeah. faster, and they're both coming down. Yeah. So. Hmm. So I could... I'm trying to think if I want to use any of these cards. Mm. Not sure what I want to do. What happens when the centipede hits a mushroom? It bounces off it and continues in the opposite direction. Does the mushroom disappear? No, the mushroom stays in place. Mm. You can set up funnel points and get the centipede to come straight down. The same gameplay strategy surprisingly works. <coughs> if it runs into one of these obstacles, it gets to move down one row closer to the known player's side of the floor. And go in the opposite direction. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to come down here, and then this way. Yeah. And then down here. So this is going to be the first mushroom you hit. Right. As it stands now. Yes. All right. Well, in that case, in that case, I'm going to use this stuff. Shoot, move, shoot, shoot. So that one's gone. All right. Now I'm at two set feeds. Shoot, move one. Shoot this mushroom. All right. And I'll use my eliminate a mushroom. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to be going down here, down here, so I'm going to get rid of that one, too. Okay. It's the centipede player's turn. Right? Okay, I'm going to play a flea. Because I can put a flea in any empty space on my side of the board. <laughs> the spider comes down immediately. Because in the game, in the video game, they fall. They go, yeah. removing mushrooms as they come down. But yeah, spiders going down nine spaces. Nine, nine, six, rule. Seven, eight, nine. Is there any rule for which order you do the bugs in? Uh, no. I just play a card, bugs, then move my bugs. Any order, yeah. Okay. Alright, so the spider. And then the flea's gonna move two spaces. The flea moves horizontally. Down, I think. It goes down two places. Yeah, yeah it goes. Yeah, yeah flea goes, goes down two, two spots squares, and makes mushrooms. Always moving in a straight line towards straight the known player. Right. You so may leave a mushroom. It doesn't say you have to. Right. But mm -hmm. I don't. I don't see why you would. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put the mushrooms there. And there. 
I assume it's harder for the dome player. It seems like it should be. Yeah, yeah. And now the centipede. What is the one length? One, the one, one length goes four. Four spaces, yeah. And they they bounce into each other and would send it into the opposite directions. Mm. So, this is going to go one, two, three, four. And so. I don't think you have to go into that space because that line is there. Yeah, that's your border. Yeah. I, I, I think it's just there as a spawn point. I think it's just used to make that the spawn point. So you list that as where the centipedes spawn from. Right. So I think it's I think it's still a space. Right. Yeah. So and then the three segment one moves three spaces. Draw a card. Your turn. Shouldn't we be putting mushrooms down where you shoot the centipede? I just thought about that. Oh, maybe. I just realized that. Find that. Because everything else turns into. If it hits a mushroom, move that mushroom. If it hits a flea, or move the bug. Yeah, we're going to replace it with a mushroom if available. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll just have to start doing that. Just now. put a mushroom here. That's fine. There. Okay. Far from the end of the world. Yes. All right. So I get to shoot. Yeah, I played the shoot once card, so that's gonna kill this flea. With a pond mushroom. Another mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering why there were so many mushrooms. They were Yeah. <coughs> That's your turn? Yes. Alright. Let's see. What do I want to do? I'm going to... Spawn another spider. It's going to go there. Wait, no, wait. It's going back over here. I'm just... I want to... Are you sure? Yeah, because I can move diagonally. diagonally. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he can and, diagonal. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. But I can't move him till my next turn. And I can't shoot it where it is because this spider is already here. Right. So then they don't move and this one goes how many spaces? Does a single one move? You four? Start with that one first since it's Yeah. Well yeah. actually, didn't it say you can one, move them two, in any? Three, four, yeah, it says you can move your bugs in any order. Yeah. yeah. And that changes his direction, so he has to go down. And this one goes. Does it do? Does it? It well, bounces off a mushroom and goes in the opposite direction. Oh, really? Yeah. Does the mushroom stay? Yes, the mushrooms don't move. The mushrooms only get disappear when a spider goes over them, or when you shoot. It runs them. into these. It gets to move down one real close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So he's there. And then four. as far as you can go, unless they can go through each other. They can go through each other? I don't know. I don't think it makes a difference. Yeah. It moves into any of the, one, into one of these obstacles, it gets to move down one row. So let's go to the go Oh, he goes down there. He was hitting a mushroom. Okay. okay. All right. Then it starts moving back in the opposite direction. Then it, must start, then it must start moving back in the other direction. In the other direction. So, yeah, you got it. Okay. Cool. Alright, your turn. Just get rid of these centipedes in there. Hmm. Take. You can always One. refresh your shoot. Yeah, but I have to. And move one. I can only refresh. I could refresh the dice pool if I if I can use one of these to refresh the dice pool. Mm -hmm. If I want to. But this is shoot. Uh huh. Move one move and shoot one again. Shoot. Yeah. So you can get a mushroom. Move one. 
Yeah. Yeah. Can you take that? No, I was trying to think if there's some way I can get all of them right now, <laughs> but no, I don't think so. No, three shoot. You got. You technically have two shoots, but. But I am going to. I'm going to refresh the dice pool. What? What's the TP? You What's the TP? That is a shoot single. I don't know. It doesn't look like TP. That's a four. I also thought it was some kind of TP. So it's the number four. Okay. <laughs> Adding a mushroom. Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> I was going to say, you got a long ways to go right now. You better add a mushroom. Let's go right there. You going to put it there? Uh huh. Oh no, I want to put it there. There you go. <laughs> uh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Awfully so, close now. One, two, uh, three. Right? Yeah. Yeah. One, one two. Bounce off. I'm going to go down one. Three. Four. Yeah. And your turn. Very close now. <laughs> I can hear the one, two, three, four. Oh, if only I had another move or another shoot. Or, no, I move. I meant to say yeah. All right. Well, I can still do this. I can still take out part of it. Four double shoot. One, two, three, four. I guess I'm just going to end up taking out this. Well, that actually works out pretty well. So that goes mushroom, mushroom gone. Right? Yes. That works out pretty well. Okay. Um, wait a minute. I can either shoot again. No, I, I can, I'm going to refresh one of my cards again. Um, I will do this one. This is good. We're, we're we're screwing things up, but it's still being it's still a very close game. Uh huh. So until you spawn another centipede. My turn, right? Yes. All right. So mushroom. Yeah, or that. <laughs> and that mushroom goes. What damn mushroom Let's guards do you have? See, mushroom goes. Four friggin' mushroom cards. Now, it's if, a, if, a, if a bug lands in a space in front of you, you die, correct? That's right. One, two. That's it. I win. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, is that true? Yes, yeah, is that the, true? Or, or does the centipede have is to... Is that true? The centipede might have to actually go into my area. Where's the wind condition? Eating the gnome. Yes, any bug the centipede is directly has... above the gnome at any point during your turn, it eats the gnome and you win oh. Okay. Your centipede ever enters the no movement area, even if the no is in a different square. Oh okay. no, I have to get down. No, no, no. But it also says sure. bugs so, are in centipedes. The bugs are different. The centipede has to get into the green to kill you. I don't think that's true. I think the centipede is technically a bug. No, that's because in the picture here they're only showing the flea and the spider, and the centipede has a different rule. The centipede ever enters the no movement area, so I have to get into the no movement area to kill you. No, I, th I, I think you won't. <laughs> you sure? No. Wait, wait, wait. Wind conditions. If the last thing to be saying is removed from the board. Yeah. If any thing happens when you shoot the gnome, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you're shooting my gnome? Dude, you're ready to kill me out. So I'm going to use this die. One, two, three, four, which will take out. Nothing. Nothing? No! Hold on. I'm ah, not ah, doing Parallax. Parallax. Like what that goes here. There you go. Yeah. You wanted a three. Sh you wanted a three. Where was I? What's that called? The parallax. <laughs> yeah, you wanted that one. Was I here? Yeah, that's where you were. No, I was here. Were you there? I was there. Yeah, you I wanted, wanted the three. Three and shoot. Yeah, it's a top one. All right, so I'll just do that then. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I think once you officially let go of the <laughs> little guy over there. <laughs> Mushroom, mushroom. All right, Centipede. I have to be the judge here. Yeah. <laughs> the impartial judge. So I played a card first, right? 
Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm you, do whatever you want. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I, play the, I play the card first, the card and, then first and then move. Uh -huh. I fart. Mm. She's a smart girl that can only move one though, right? Yeah. But you bounce off that next time. Oh look, you can turn your guy too. Yes, that's the yeah. direction. Actually, yeah, because you'll hit. No, you'll hit this mushroom on your next turn. Yeah. And you'll be going that way. So. So it goes up. Because you're hitting the mushroom. Yeah, you're, yeah. Okay, yeah. Go, so I did do it right the first time. You'll go one, yes. and then you'll be facing that way. So. Yeah, that is what I wanted to do. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you have to face yeah. your centipede a certain yeah. way. Uh huh. Because then this will go bang, go down one, and then turn back that direction. Yes. Yeah. Is this, what is this? Piece of the centipede. What do you have? Because okay. they got killed shot. it. We got oh, shot. Oh, okay. They okay. took the piece you out. Did, now draw a card. Yes. And now it's Dad's turn. Oh. Uh, let's look at the board oh. here. Oh, Dad. Okay. What's that? One, two, three. I could take out. You could, you get that would be four and two shots. You'd have yeah. the mushroom yeah. and the head, and then the head of the centipede if you wanted to do that. Oh my goodness! <laughs> they don't get another one, right? Not yet. I don't know. Well, that'll turn into the. That turns. That turns. Turn turn the but there's only but you're less people. Right, like we're yeah. less pieces. Less pieces. And then we'll move one faster. Yeah, now we move two thing. spaces. Once you once you six take pieces out. move one space, five pieces move two spaces. So every turn, if that's how it gets faster as it gets smaller. If you don't like your move, you could do it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just saying. I saw that, but that's okay. No, no, now, no. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think you should do the the four and then uh, shoot twice. Yeah, that okay. Makes sense. That would be good. Okay. So if you want to, if you want to do that, take all the right. dice. Still that one. Do that. Take this one, right? Right. Okay. Actually, no. Wait, we're fucking idiots. Put that one back. <laughs> Ah, you want shoot for shoot. I was a gnome gnome. Because <laughs> then you can shoot this mushroom, get it out of our way, get okay. out of your way. Shoot the mushroom. Okay. <laughs> that sucker's gone. Then move four spaces. <laughs> now shoot this mushroom. Shoot this less mushrooms. Okay. Now you have easier shots at their centipede next time. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my, that's my I mean, plan. That's, okay. what, that's the way it happens. Jeremy's firing that's like what I'm crazy going with. over there. Alright. Alright. All right. Now it's my turn. Right? Mm hmm. Okay, I'm playing the baby centipede. And that Already. bad jammy's coming out over here. And that is what I wanted to do. So. Now the baby moves on the turn you place it, doesn't it? Yes, it everything moves. It doesn't. Yeah. yeah. So one, two. No, yeah, that's, that one's in the box. That one's boxed off, I think. Isn't um, it? No, no, it's right? just a oh, the way you're playing with All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So they all move their two spaces that way. And then this bad baby jammy moves four spaces. With only one. So one, two, three, bounce, turn, and four. Look at this! Mm -hmm. All right! Alright, all right, all right, all right. What do I want? Uh, yeah, it doesn't say anything about what happens when things encounter each other. Okay! <laughs> so. I guess we'll just put them in the same place, I suppose. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Wait a minute. Roll, roll. This Something is hers, right? Her right? ours. Hey, you can shoot any mushroom. It doesn't matter. Right. So if I shoot. You take out that yeah, mushroom. I can take out the mushroom. Move four spaces. Move four. Take out the fight. Fleet. Fleet. Yeah, there you go. That's a good idea, actually. If you want to do that. Or you can refresh the dice and see if you get another see if you get another hand you like. That's what I would do. Because the next the next turn the flea is gonna be one, two. Yeah, yeah. Well, He's not making, quite, you're not right. Quite that, do exactly either. what you just said. Take the shoot four shoot. Okay. Mushroom. Yep. Yeah. Move four. Shoot, shoot kill the flea. And then um, Mushroom goes in there, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now you, you're going to force me to refresh the dice if I don't like any of this. And it's my turn? Yes. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I forgot you have to go first. Yeah. Okay. I'm playing a mushroom card. 
I'm removing that one. And that's exactly no. Yes. Well, yeah, because then, then, then you're forced to come all the way back this way. Yeah. If I left that mushroom there, you're funneling oh, straight right. down. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Luke. Uh-huh. And we move two spaces. So, one, two, and we'll end up going that way. It's unfair, though, because he's played Centipede a million times. <laughs> yeah, he has. My whole life! <laughs> and yes, by the way, Centipede does count as a bug. It does it? Okay. So, I did win. Zero cards. You won before you won. Ha! <laughs> 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 he's like... Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Now you it's good. my turn, right? Yeah, now it's your turn, brother. You moved all your bugs. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. We did everything. Yeah, absolutely did. nothing. Let me work out when we sit down, we'll get the third out. Yeah. Okay. It's not long now, I've got them on the ropes. <laughs> do you think? No, not at all. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do it. Jimmy, you can hand it down? Mm hmm. A little bit. So I'm just gonna refresh. He's always doing that. I'm yeah. always doing that. He doesn't I like, like to die. <laughs> he doesn't like to die. The die is cast. Mm -hmm. And he oh my like, god, the die is cast. Are those like, all fours? No, just the bottom four. This is the bottom four? <laughs> the bottom four. Yeah. So, would that be four by four? Yeah. Well, this is move four, shoot, shoot. Right, and then shoot good. four, shoot. Right. Yeah. yeah. But we have nothing That's to shoot. Fine. Move four, we'd be shooting in air. I know. Can you do the card and then but the die? But there's a shoot, and then a yeah. one, and then a, you know. Okay. And then take out the head and the mushroom. And the next, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do, yeah, so I'll move one. Okay. Four double shoot. Okay. Isn't it shoot, shoot, four? No, it's four, 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 four shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, four, you're right. Shoot. One, two, three, four. Mushroom down, head down. I got it. I just don't get that But now what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> Show me in the head. It, do it doesn't go back up, so no. it... Would be, I would move two spaces this way and then that way. Ow, the head's over here. You're right, we'd have to shoot that mushroom. Or remove it with a mushroom car. You're right. We're stuck, we're literally stuck. You're gonna have to play that, the three shoot or you're uh -huh. not gonna be able to move. I know, I see that. Yeah. Unless. Wait, the three shoot takes out the mushroom in front of it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, does it, would, would it just go backwards? That's what I thought. It would it would just trail in on itself and then yeah, go down. I that's don't what it, think it does, though. That's what makes sense to me. Yeah. That's what it does in the video game. Does it? It would turn in on itself and go back and go down yeah, when, it got, when it got stuck in a thing. And then it goes... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It recalibrated itself, uh, right? It would just go backwards, yeah. So we're good where we are, actually. We, yeah. Okay, so Centipede from IDW Games. Um, what do we think? First of all, what do we think of the components? I like the pieces. They're nice. They're well done. They all fit nicely in the box. Yeah. No, but they actually, they're actually nice. The, having to put stickers on kind of sucks. Yeah, but the, especially since I was stupid and put the stickers on backwards on the one set of Such as life. It's stickers. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. No. But there's a lot of them. Uh, right. And they're wooden, and they're... You said when we first looked at it that uh, especially the legs on the spiders, they look kind of spindly, like they might come off. But when you pick them up, they're actually pretty hefty, Solid. They're very right? solid. Yeah. They're pretty sturdy. Um, so what do we think about the game? Well, let me say this first of all. The, you read a lot of reviews of IDW games, and there's a lot of flack given to the rule books. And I thought I, it wasn't quite as bad as I expected hearing that. Right. But, I mean, again, I played things wrong. I didn't realize I wasn't supposed to use all seven gnome control cards because there was nothing in There's there. There's nothing that says you're not that. supposed to, right. But, I mean, as far as the rules go and the rule book, what, does, it, does, it, does it play well? Does it plays well. It, it could use a little more explanation of what exactly non-plural things mean. Yeah. Like cards that say move your centipede. Right. And then you don't know, do you move all of your centipedes? Or yeah. a singular centipede? An explanation in the 
rule book of all the cards would have been nice. Right. But that's about the only glaring omission. Any? No, mm -hmm. I didn't really read it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, does it? Well, what do you think, Luke? You're the centipede master. Does it? Does it? Uh, master. Does it? Um. I've got thirty years in this game. <laughs> does it? Uh, does it? I mean, is it a good uh, resemblance to the yeah, actual Yeah, it's a good representation game? of the game. It really is. Uh, it, it, it gets everything just right. Well, what do we think? So you finally came in on the four-player game. We played the two-player, and then we switched to the four-player. What did you think of how the four-player played? I thought the four-player was much more interesting than the two-player, only because you could have the two centipedes of opposing sides moving in opposite directions. If you could play the two-player game using both the centipede and the gnome on opposite sides, I think that would be really interesting. Which I guess, theoretically, you could, you could if you wanted to. I think that would be, I think that would be a more interesting way to play two-player than, than and one And again, player, another or the four player. rules omission, if you want to call it. We couldn't really, there really was nothing in the rule book that said what happens when the two centipedes meet. Yeah. Right. I Do mean, they bounce? Do they ghost? I would guess, if you think about old Atari games, you'd think they just go through, each, go other through each other. That's yeah. the way we played, so we hope that's right. Um, I, I was surprised. I thought the four player would be a little goofy. I thought it would be too crazy and haphazard. It was surprising. But yeah, fun. I think I actually liked the four player more than the two player. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was enjoyable. So what about replayability though? Do you think, I mean, it, it takes, there's a little bit of a learning curve. Right. After all Once years. you figure out what you're doing, right. you're doing well. And that's a little bit of my concern. Once you figure out what you're doing, how rewarding are those successive plays going to be? Is right. there enough? Well, what do you think? Well, I, I would, uh, maybe a scoring system would have been good for that, but... Interesting. Like, points for killing this, points mm -hmm. for... So, you know, you'd have, I can get a high score later yeah. on, something like that. I think the challenge might really be in finding a way for the gnome player to win. Right. I cheated. I cheated my ass off, and I still <laughs> lost. <laughs> <laughs> Those darn bugs. It's always the computer's fault. But I guess that makes sense, right? I mean, right. you're... You're trying to beat the computer. Yeah, right. If you are the person playing the bug, you have somewhat of an advantage. Right. And that's just one of those things. Well, any other final Which is why I think you should play the two-player. Yeah. As your centipede and your gnome. You, we can head then, again, a two-player, yeah. four-player version. Yeah. I, think that, I think that makes more sense than the two-player, where it's... Just right. strictly gnome and centipede. I think there should be a port system. Um, do we yeah. think? Okay, so well, here's the uncomfortable part. Now, this is suggested at forty dollar retail. Is that a good price for this? I feel like you're playing. You're paying for parts count. Yeah. Like with a large Lego set. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of pieces, so it costs more. I was surprised at how small the board is, but then I guess I don't really. I you probably wouldn't need a bigger. You one wouldn't need a bigger. You really wouldn't. No. No. But. Thirty dollars seems more of a better price yeah. point. But I think it's another one of those things where you're paying for the IP too. You're also paying for the centipede yeah. name, right? Like I'm sure some of the other games that are coming out will have similar prices. Yeah, I'm sure. So, yeah. I think the I think the board should have been bigger. It would have been easier to move just a little. That may have to... necessitated bigger pieces. Yeah. So. <laughs> Slightly bigger, but Slightly bigger. not. Yeah. Just so you could see it easier, and if yeah. you knock the board a little bit, you don't <laughs> you don't forget where the mushrooms were. Where everything was. All right. So final thoughts. This will be my final thought. I uh, I the rules are fairly simple, but I kind of think I mean that in a good way because uh, there is a lot of different things you can do. It's not really random because there's all there's a lot of ways you can refresh the dice, and um, I, I feel like it. it like we were talking about, once you get a few plays in, maybe it does get repetitive, but at the same time, kind of what we saw at the end of the four-player game was you kind of start trying to outthink the other opponent. Exactly. And then, you know, maybe new areas of the game kind of come in at that point. And you say, you know, on your first few plays, you might not have been thinking about that. Yeah. So yeah. I think, yeah, I mean, the replayability, of, you know, if you love Centipede, first of all, you're gonna, if you, someone like you who played Centipede nonstop for 30 years, you're probably gonna be fine playing the board game. I think that I think the replayability is going to be uh, surprisingly high. Um, yeah. To a point. Yeah. Yeah. Do I playing in a bit of a tournament with everybody. Yeah. If you're playing two players or four players, if you got more, if you say you've got eight people around mm -hmm. and you want to do 
a turn that that's more of a replayability yeah. thing because they'll have many people doing many different strategies. It's also a bit of luck of the draw with the cards, which adds a bit to replay value. Right. Similar to Magic or one of those straight card games, you never know what hand you're starting with or what hand you're getting dealt next, which is okay. Right. As the as the bug, you've got your three cards and your eleven card deck, and you're doing well with that as long as you're getting what you want. But if you keep getting, say, fleas. Right. You're not doing as well, and it may hinder your want to keep going. But it cycles through pretty quickly. It does. It cycles yeah. through pretty fast, yeah. Yeah, you go through cards fairly quickly. So, Final and it's boss, so What do you fun. think of Centipede? I think it's interesting that you have the dice portion and the card portion, and they don't cross over. Good point. I think that's really odd and interesting, and I kind of like it, but I kind of also felt left out because I didn't get to play the dice portion. <laughs> Doing, um, doing the four player. Doing the four player, yeah. I didn't get to play the dice portion. So I, what and I may have wanted so to do with the dice. You want it all. <laughs> you just want everything. Oh. I do. <laughs> I do. So I. The dice are very it. nice, so I understand. They're, they're pretty yeah. nice. They're pretty nice, except for the four. We have we all had an issue reading the number four from a strange angle. Yes. But ID, IDW, please do your fours differently. <laughs> no more pixelated fours. <laughs> but other than that, you know, no. Well, if the bad four is our biggest complaint, then it can't be that. Bad. Exactly. Exactly. Minor, minor sh rules issues. The fours are crappy, and that's about really okay. it. Like it was a fi fairly fun playthrough. Yeah. Yeah. It's not gonna. It's not gonna blow your mind. No. But uh, it's it's as good as you expect, and maybe even a little better. I can see adding in a drinking game where every time somebody puts down a mushroom, you take a shot. Every time something <laughs> gets shot, you take a shot. Or you'd you, be so gone by the end of the game. Or yeah. you eat a mushroom every time. Or you eat a mushroom. You can eat a mushroom, exactly. You can take any of these ideas. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not in the base game. No, no. That's, that's a whole other... But that's, uh, that's what we think of Centipede for a lot of IDW games.